Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a work breakdown structure. So on the screen, I've got an example of what I'm going to recreate. And what I've done is I've created simple shapes, flowchart shapes, and use data graphics to simulate the information I want to appear in the diagram. And I've also used a custom shape, which is this one, which I've created from scratch. So I'll just delete that one. And I'll recreate this diagram on a separate page. If I just go for new page, and there we go. Now, before I do this, um, I came into the basic flow chart shapes area and I edited the process shape. So let's just do that. I'll drag that on. Now, when you drag that on, the shape data that you get is this default shape data. So if I just close that down for a minute, remember you can get data, shape data from the data tab if you've got this version or view tab if you haven't, and then task panes, shape data, and it either sits docked like that or it might sit like this or whatever in your document. It doesn't matter, but I like it docked. These are the default fields that you get. I want to change this to replicate what I've got on this shape. If I go into that one where I've just got name, budget and work percent. And I might just put the percent symbol there on this one. So let's just delete that one. Now to do that, you need to right click data, define shape data, and then you get rid of the ones you don't want. So I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want any of these really. So I'll get rid of all of them, then new. So the first one is going to be name. New. Second one's going to be budget. And that's going to be a currency field. And new is going to be just percent, percentage work of the overall total of work. I want that, I'll just leave it as a label. And that's gonna be a string as well. Now, if you want to set the sort order, if you put one there, two for budget, that's the second position, and three for the percent, that's, that's the order that will appear in this list. So if I click OK to that, I get these three things in the right order. So that's the shape data. Now what I want to do is use data graphics to put information in here. That is on the data tab and advanced data graphics. And I've got that's the one I've already done, so I'm going to create a new one. And you've got new items, so the items will be these three items here. So for this to work, you need to have the items named in shape data. So the first one I want the name to appear as text. And I don't want it on the right, I want it on the left at the top. And I do not want the label. So not shown, not shown. Click OK. And that's that first one. Second item I want is the budget field. So it's going to be budget. I want that as text as well. And I want that on the left, but in the middle. And again, I don't want no label. It's up to you if you have labels or not. Okay, to that one. And then the last one, new item, is obviously going to be the percent. And this time I'm going to use a data bar. And I've got data bar one. You've got different options there. Progress bars. Progress bars, what I want. And label position, top, not shown. I don't want the label shown. Okay. Now, OK to that. Yes, I do want it on here. And now we've got something not quite right there. I don't want that there. So let's go back and edit that. Edit data graphic. Edit this one. Let's just go for a data bar instead of that. Data bar one, not shown. All right, OK. I didn't change this left bottom so we'll go back to progress 
Okay, so that's what I forgot, I think. Click OK, click OK. That's it. And I want the font color to be white on this blue. It's totally up to you though. White. And that one can be white. I also want it left. I want that one left as well. Left. So, okay, that looks good. Let's just test this now. So, if I click on this, so name, I'll just call that main for now. Um, budget and 34. There we go. Happy teddy bear. Great. So, now because I'm going to use this and put it into my stencil, I need to get rid of this test data I just did. Get rid of that. So, now it's clean and I can push it into my stencil and I'll call that W. BS1 WBS1 Now if you don't know how to get a stencil it's just a case of going to more shapes new stencil or open them what you've already created and you can just add things into it and save it to wherever you want to be on the computer So now I've got my first um, shape which is edited how I want it to be I can now start adding things into this. So on the other section, I had four. On page one, I had four sections. So these are the headings, planning, design, fabrication, and construction. So I just need to do that. So I'll just bring these on. One. You see the lines line up to make sure you've got it correct, and then you can just set it out how you want it to be. You can adjust it later on. Now the connector needs to come from this top shape to each one of these, and you might have to mess about with this a little bit. I don't definitely don't want it to look like that. So I'll push that up a bit, that's better. And then connector again wants to come out of the same area into this. And click away, and then you'll get you'll get the connector tool again coming down into this one. Click away, get the connector tool again, and then come across into this one. So you get the lines set up how you want them nice and neat so these four are going to be the heading so i'll just change the fill to green and then you need to put the information in for each of these headings so the first one um, was planning and now this is where the shape data window comes in so that's planning and then you give yourself a budget for planning put a capital on that so the budget would be say um 2000 I think I did the other one and it's 2% of the overall project now I haven't put the title in the top one what's going to be build a house and a budget of 200,000 and that would be 100% of the cost there's different ways of doing these work breakdown, stru breakdown st structures it's up to you how you do it this is the way I'm doing this one so now underneath planning I need to put some other shapes. So if we go back to page one, I had clearance and permissions. So that's what I need to do there. So again, if I click on this, put the connector tool on, bring that one over, lines it up for me. And then take that off. And then you can put the titles in, in the shape data. So this was planning, so clearance, and the cost, the budget has to be adding up. These two have to add up to that. So that's going to be 1,000. And it's, um, I've said that was 2%. That looks a bit low. That's 5%. Okay, so I'll change that to 5. Put that to 5. And then this one can be 3 of that 5. And the next one down um, can be 2 of that 5. And again, the budget would be 1,000 like so and then we'll see the one permission so I need permissions that's the title for that one and this is basically permission how you do this so that's that one so the next one has two is it so site this is design site map and drawing so title is design The budget for this was 8,000 and again it was just 5% of the total 
and then you've got two shapes to come out of this so connector tool back on drag the shape across you get the lines lining it up and then the next one like so have a quick look what the titles are site map drawings so the first one take that back off site map press tab that's going to be 4000 and it is going to be let's go for 2.5 and then that one is going to be drawings press tab 4000 cost press tab 2.5 percent that's it now this one the third one was fabrication and construction i'll just do these two so i don't keep having to flip back so fabrication and construction okay so how many fabrication got it's got three shapes so click on that one activate the connector tool just bring them on to make sure they're all lined up one two three these little arrows down the right hand side telling you they got you've got it evenly spaced so there's the three and I might as well do construction while I'm at it that's just got two so one two and I take the connector tool off and then you fill in these in so you've got external builds internal builds spell that one wrong internal builds and testing so external Internal builds, internal builds, and testing. Now, the fabrication phase was a hundred thousand pounds, so let's put that in there. Let's go back, hundred thousand. 50 40 10 so 50 thousand 40 thousand 10 thousand so these have to add up to that no, that's not right i'll add that again so this is going to be 10 here's another zero on that And this is 50% of the entire project. So click on that, 50% in there. And that one's 40%. I might as well do that while I'm at it. 40. So 5, 5, 10, 60, 100. That's what that's got to add up to this. So then external builds is 25, 15, and 10. So again, these have got to add up. So 25%. 15% and 10% that adds up now back to this one so we've got phase 1 and phase 2 45 45 that's fairly straightforward so phase 1 construction and phase 2 Now the budget for both of these is what's, what half of whatever this is. So this was 100, 110, 90,000. So let's go for 90,000. 90,000. So phase one is 45,000. Phase two is 45,000. And then the percentage is 20 and 20, so it adds up. And that's basically how you do a work breakdown structure diagram using Visio, using your custom shapes. This is the key, I think. So there's lots of, if you go on the internet, there's lots of different styles for this, different types. You've got a phased um, base work breakdown structure, which is slightly different. This is a a better example I think is is a deliverable based work down so you've got all the deliverables listed under each of the headings and how they fit into the overall picture 
of this, which is build a house, 200 grand, 100% of the work will complete that. Now, stencils, when I teach this to my groups, are the key, I think, to using Visio to its best potential. You can customize any shape and then utilize that in any diagram. So hopefully this little video has been of use. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.